guys, I'm Mar, and today's video is so special because I have been wanting to do this for the longest time, and today I'm gonna be putting my makeup skills to the test, and you guys, I am not a professional makeup artist at all, but I do love makeup, so I'm gonna have a professional, like a real, real professional makeup artist do my makeup, and then I'm going to attempt to do the same look and see how it turns out. I don't think it's gonna be the same at all, but I don't know, I just want to try it out. I always try and learn new tips, new tricks, whenever anybody does my makeup. And you guys, today's video is sponsored by Makeup Forever. We're gonna be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, which I'm wearing right now, and you guys already know I love it. I have it right here. I took it with me on my trip because of course I was gonna take it. And this foundation, you guys, has 50 shades. It used to have 40, but now it has 50. And I personally love it because it makes my skin look so good. It has medium coverage that so you can really build up if you want to. I really like to wear it when I have an event or something like that because it does not look like foundation. It doesn't look cakey at all. It just looks like your skin is looking really nice. It's like you can't even really see it. You can only see like, oh, her foundation is good. I remember one time a makeup artist told me, and oh, who was this that told me that? Oh, I remember who said this. It was Matthew. <laughs> makeup Matthew. He's amazing, you guys. But what he said was that he really took it as a compliment when people said that the person that was wearing his makeup looked pretty and not like oh your makeup looks amazing because when it's like your makeup looks amazing sometimes it can be like oh it's a lot of makeup but when they say oh you look amazing it's because like your makeup really compliments you and makes you look really good so that's exactly how I feel about this foundation it just feels like it makes your skin look so good without being like oh yeah great your foundation's like really kicked on I'll see you. But okay, you guys, I'm so excited to get started. I actually had this makeup done last night. Well, not this one, but like the makeup for this video last night. I haven't done my version, so I don't know how it'll turn out. I guess you guys will know by the time you're watching this. But I have Ivana or Evie. I think she likes to go by Evie. It's probably easier. But she is amazing with makeup, you guys, and you should definitely go follow her if you don't follow her already because she is so good, so talented. I'm gonna be honest. I asked her to do like a simple look because I'm like, don't do something artsy that I for sure won't be able to recreate. Like, try and keep it somewhat easy, please. <laughs> so yeah, guys, let's jump right into the makeup artist look. You guys, I'm so excited! Can you come over? You guys, okay, wait, no, I feel like you need an introduction. So, guys, I feel so hashtag blessed right now because we're in Miami, and I thought about doing this video, and I was like, yes, we need to make this happen because Ivana does, like, the most amazing makeup ever. The skin? Flawless. The eyes? Flawless. Your face? Completely snatched. So I'm pretty sure when I try to recreate this, I'm gonna fail. But it doesn't matter because it's gonna be the perfect excuse for me to just have awesome makeup today for Netflix later. So I'm really, really excited. You guys, come, come, come to meet her. She's seriously the best. Hi! How are you? <laughs> so she's gonna do my makeup today. I'm just gonna say she's the best review makeup artist of the life. Just like in my heart. Okay, so you guys, she is also the Benefit Brow Camp Brow Search. Yes, the Brow Search winner. That's for the year 2018. She won, you guys. Yes. Her brows are on point. They are. <laughs> Always, and she's gonna try to make my brows on point. They're like a hot mess right now, but we trying. Okay. No, no, no. Are we ready to start? We're so ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm never prepared for this. All right, let's start. <laughs> let's, let's glam you up. So you just zoom into my face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, my face is gross. Like, you guys, if you're in Miami, I feel like a baby right now. I'm like, Ugh. oh, P.S. Yeah. So can you see the bruise on my nose? Because when I do my makeup, you can't see it. No. Wait, oh my god, I Where swear I have a bruise on my nose. So, okay, maybe I just don't know how to contour my nose. When I contour, people are like, you have a bruise on your nose. Right here? I do, see, I have a natural bruise. Can you see it? Okay, never mind, I just suck at contour. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna give you a red carpet look. Red carpet? Gordo, where are we going? Mm? We're going to the premiere of, of what? Um, I don't know. Burritos. Titanic. <laughs> Okay, so okay. you guys, I asked her to use the Makeup Forever foundation because thank you, Makeup Forever. You actually love that foundation. No, it's an it's an amazing foundation. We're gonna be using the Y three hundred and thirty five. So if it, the shade is not right, that is my fault. I'm 
I'm going to apply a little bit of the full coverage cream camouflage um, concealer. This is the 12. So okay, so this is so that it's like full, full coverage kind of. Yes. So this foundation is like medium coverage. Amazing. The lips. Oh my god. Okay, I need like a setting spray that's literally. <laughs> this will be my face forever. I need to film my 10 videos. Guys, please remember me this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that looks so good. Oh my god, that. Yeah, you like it. I love it. <laughs> okay, guys, so you already saw the makeup in good lighting. I just wanted to kind of show it to you guys. <laughs> I never want to take this off. I'm really sad that I'm gonna have to try to do this myself. I'm gonna have to attempt this. It's a really cool smoky. I asked her to do something somewhat simple because I was like, girl, girl, help me. But the foundation looks so flawless. Look at it right here. Obviously the lighting is not the best, but it's so smooth. It's insane. I'm just like, oh. And now you guys, I guess it's time for me to go do my makeup. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck, you guys. Ah. All right, you guys, I hope the setup is somewhat decent. We're at Disney World right now. I'm wearing my little magic band. And let me take that off because I feel like I don't want to be in the way of my cute makeup. So, all right, you guys, I have a picture of the makeup. But I have not watched back the clips of when Ivana did my makeup because I don't want it to be like a tutorial for me. I just want to try and recreate it. I am not feeling confident, you guys. The skin looks so freaking flawless. There's absolutely no face tune on that. And it looks amazing it's just i i mean i'm speechless but i feel like the foundation is so good this makeup forever ultra hd but also the way she applies it i don't know it's like she's she's like seriously so good but okay i hope i haven't gotten like too tanned or anything like that because this is literally all i brought for foundation so i know she did the foundation first personally i would usually not do it first just because i don't feel that confident on my skin Skill to do those eyes, but I'm gonna put the foundation on first just because I'm gonna try to follow what I remember she did on me. Although she wouldn't let me really look at my makeup while she was doing it because she was like, no, no, I want you to see the finished results. So I don't really know. And you guys, this foundation you can find it now at Sephora inside JC Penny as well, which is awesome. And I don't know if we filmed when we were talking about this because I feel like we talked about so much while she was doing my makeup but the formula changed in 2015 and I feel that I love the formula even more. I don't even know if that's a possibility but I just love how I can really go on like absolutely nothing but make your skin look so good i remember i wore this foundation to the uh, um well i wore it to a whole bunch of events but i really like it for like red carpet it's weird because i like it for like every day and i know it might sound extra for every day but you really don't have to wear a lot and it just looks really good for every day but i also love it for events so when we went to the i think it was like the latin amas i wore this oh my god you guys I wore this dress. It was this purple dress. It's such a beautiful purple dress. I'll insert a picture right here for you guys. And there's a really <laughs> embarrassing story about this dress, but 
I'm not ready to tell you guys that story quite yet because it's a terrible story. Um, but the dress was like out there and I did my makeup by myself and I love that makeup. It was one of the, my favorite makeup looks ever. It was just like a really bronzy look. I had just gotten back from the beach so I was super bronzed and I loved that look so, so much. Okay, so I am putting quite a bit on because I remember she put a bit on me and then she showed me that you could still kind of see my freckles and she was like, do you want it like this or do you want it different? Because I don't mind when I can see my freckles but I told her I wanted her to cover that just because because we're doing like full, full glam. So I'm trying to cover those up right now. You can still kind of see like here, you can see a little bit. I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up, but in real life, you can see it a little bit more. Alrighty, I think this is gonna be the last layer of foundation that I'm adding. Honestly, I'm adding mostly just here because that's why I remember her covering. I know she didn't do liquid contour. She only did powder contour. Although, uh, I don't know, her makeup, it was so gorgeous, but it did take her quite a while. I think I'll be a little bit quicker because you guys know I don't have the patience, but I wish I did because I know mine is not going to turn out as good. Although, you know what? I'm going to be positive. It will hopefully turn out somewhat decent. <laughs> At least the skin is looking really nice. I feel like I have to get further away because the light is just shining too much on it. So wait. I'm gonna do concealer now and I've also been living for this makeup. Look at that! I have completely murdered my concealer, but I love this concealer. It's super, super good. Oh, I'm almost completely out. No. I actually can't remember if she set my under eye with loose powder. You guys probably do know because you guys just saw this. <laughs> but I'm not trying to follow her tutorial, you guys. I'm just trying to do the same look. So if I remember a little bit of what she did, it's helpful, but it doesn't have to be exactly the same because we know it's not gonna be the same. All right, so I'm gonna do bronzer and I'm gonna spend a bit of time here. I wish I had more than one color for bronzer, but I only have like one bronzer <laughs> right now. Oh, I'm gonna use a bit of a brown eyeshadow because I feel like I'll give it a cool look. All right, I'm not really sure how that's going along, so I'm gonna start on my eyes and just pray. I know she used concealer, but I'm gonna use my primer potion because I really like the primer potion. And I'm just gonna start working on the eye. I'm not gonna talk you guys through that because I feel like it's just gonna be eternal. <laughs> so just cross your fingers for me, you guys, and... <laughs> Say a little prayer. liner and I also had to go out and buy a black eyeshadow so I got the Sephora one I've never tried the Sephora black eyeshadow so I guess we're gonna have to see if it's good or not how pigmented it is and you guys I used to wear black eyeshadow all the time but now I really just like brown I feel like black is just a bit too much for me so this is for sure a look I I don't know that I would never do on my own so <laughs> I'm nervous Okay, so it's the moment of truth. All right, that's not terrible. It's actually, it's good, it's not bad. Thank you, Jesus, because I was so nervous. I was like, eh, if it's not black, it's really important for this eye to have black in it. And I'm also nervous because my eyes can get droopy so easily, like it can really point down. So I have to make sure I don't do that accidentally. So she used this glitter on me and I feel like she didn't put as much as I would have liked so I might add a bit more of it. She did use a brush so I'm gonna try and 
to that. I've never used a brush on this product before. Oh, it looks really, really nice. It's so pretty. I'm for sure adding more just because I don't know glitter. I'm actually gonna do the lashes different and I want you guys to tell me your opinions because I am just I, I don't know what to do with the lashes so I've really been loving just doing like an outer lash and just like flicking it up but she said that for me a round lash is better so she did a round lash and I'm just gonna do the lashes I've been literally wearing like for three days straight and it's just this tiny bitsy baby lash it's actually a lash that was cut in half and I put half on one eye and the other half on the other and let me know what you guys think which one you think looks better on me because I, I don't know Okay, so the eyes are done. Well, maybe I'll add a bit of shimmer here, but I'm gonna do a bit of highlight. I love this highlight. I'm gonna do my lip, but I'm not gonna do it as a brown, just because I don't usually wear that brown. I liked it, but I would like more. <laughs> Here is the finished result. This took me a little bit under an hour. I'm actually happy with it. I think it looks good. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. It's honestly, I mean, I feel like for having done it myself, it's not terrible. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, let me just get a little bit back so you can see it without the light in my face. All right, so here it is. Sorry if you guys can't hear me too well because I'm using the camera's microphone, but let me know what you think of this look. Don't forget you guys to check out the Makeup Barber Ultra HD Foundation and also the concealer because it's bomb. I follow Ivana because she's an awesome makeup artist and she's super, super talented. But anyways, I thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. I can see videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new video awesomeness. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next one.